All right, now joined by Tatiana Crowder from Women's Basketball. You've been working the room here, Tatiana. Yeah. And again, it's way early, but uh, give an idea of the vibe. What's going on right now? I mean, it's lots of great food. It's great atmosphere. You could tell that um, academics really put a lot of work into it. So it looks like it's going to be a good night. At the end of the day, the graduation, the court ceremony, special time to be a student athlete here and going on to future things in your career. So representing Liberty and having this event here, uh, how exciting is it? It's really exciting. I'm actually going to be taking a fourth year of eligibility and still playing. So um, I'm excited just to continue to get my education and get it paid for, really. I'm, I'm really excited, grateful. Talking to Coach uh, Kerry Green, he brings you up a lot about the energy you have on this team, and you're bringing it here to the event here tonight. If only, well, we do have a microphone. It's good. If only you could go up there and speak in front of everybody. What do you think you would tell them about your experience? I would say that I've learned a lot. I've learned way more than I think I would have wanted to. Um, but I've learned a lot, and, I, and I've realized that this is an amazing platform, and it's only for a short period of time. Like, all of this is great. Like, the free food, and it's great, but then it's gone. So, like, what are you going to do while you're in it? I think that's what I would challenge everyone. Like, it's, it's over, so now what kind of thing? You mentioned you have another year of eligibility. Post-basketball, what, what's Tatiana Crowder going to get into? Um, well, I feel really called to go back to where I'm from and, like, just shift the culture for the kingdom of God. And so my big God-sized dream is to open up my own organization that just kind of really focus on, focuses on the family. And instead of giving, like, people organizations, like, how can we really, like, shift the culture and teach parents how to parent instead of giving them after-school programs and things of that nature? So that, that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. Awesome. Appreciate it, Tatiana. Enjoy the night, okay? Thank you. Our Evangeline Court Ceremony here tonight. What have you heard about the event? Now it's your time to go through. My goodness. I've always heard so much. It's an awesome night just to celebrate the seniors and all of their accomplishments. Um, just a fun night to be with all other of your fellow seniors and teammates and with your coaches. Um, it's just a sweet night. What is next for you now that tennis is out in the rearview mirror, at least competitively here at Liberty? Um, competitively, I'm actually coming back next year to be the team manager. Okay. So I'm going to help out with the girls and be kind of like their equipment manager, um, do all their stringing tennis rackets, um, and start working towards a Masters this summer. Okay, good for you. What about the event here tonight? What are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward just to hanging with my coaches. There's not a lot of time where you just get one-on-one -on -one time and just to hang out with them. Um, so it's a probably the last time that we'll be together until next year so we've caught up with Jeff Mayer and what's it been like to play for him these last four years it's been awesome he's been such an example for all of us on and off the court um, he pays so much attention to so many details that a lot of coaches might look past but through just caring so much about us um, it goes a long way and all the girls respect him and love working for him um, and that's what I think really brings the team together to um, bring all the success that we have so far. Final thought here, academics and Christy and her staff putting on this event here tonight. The support you have gotten from that group the last couple of years has been tremendous. So put into words what it's been like to work with them and to help you get this degree. Literally, we can't take credit for anything that we've done. Uh, it goes all to them. We, I mean, we go to class and stuff, but they help us get through it all. There's so many opportunities for us to succeed in and out of the classroom. Um, so all credit to them. All right, Molly, court ceremony here tonight, celebrating the outgoing uh, student athletes. How fun of a night is this going to be, you think? Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, just looking around, a, lo uh, a lot of work has definitely been put, in put into it. Uh, so I'm excited just to, you know, spend the evening here. What have you heard about this ceremony and the pomp and circumstance that surrounds it? Well, I've heard it's a pretty fun ceremony. I mean, uh, our past seniors on the team have had a lot of good things to say about it, so I was excited to be able to take part. How about being a part of this women's basketball program? Year in and year out, it's all about success. You made the NCAA tournament again this past season. So having that torch and kind of flying that, that light for this team, what's that been like for you? I mean, it was um, cool coming into a program with such high expectations, and there were obviously, you know, athletic expectations that we do well and perform well. Uh, but on top of that, they just encourage us to do well in the classroom and faithfully and spiritually, which I thought was awesome and a really good thing to take part in. Molly, how about post-basketball now for you? You're going to graduate. What's next on the horizon? Yeah, it's uh, weird and a little scary. I'm just moving uh, – back uh, north and I'm, I have a couple internships this summer and then just kind of, you know, seeing what happens after that with life. All right, Molly, appreciate your time. Congratulations. Enjoy the night. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.